Now we are going to see how you can produce block diagrams from bond graphs. Um, from bond graph mode. You have here the physical system, okay? So if you draw a bond graph for this, you're going to see that uh, the way we do it on the electrical side is we put a one junction for the current, yeah? And then we uh, attach to it the elements that 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 current uh, that experience that current. So we have this is the the source in here with value B for voltage. You have the resistor over here, which is R element, and it will have a value of R in here. And then you have this capacitor over here which we have the value of C. Yeah. That same, mm, you know, we could build a bond graph on this one on the same premises, but in this case, the um, one junction would go for the velocity x dot in this case. And then we would build, uh, let's say, on this side, we have the force over here. So we're going to do this called SE and this is the value F and um, in here you're going to have the inertia with the mass over here and you have this two over here this is one uh, I think we I missed something up on the first so let's just um, see I forgot this inductor Here you have the inductor right there with value L. And in here you have this this spring in here, which is the C element with value 1 over K here. And you have also this R element over here, which is <coughs> with value B. Good. Both of the <coughs> both of these bond graph models are basically the same. So, just to complete the models, I I need to put the this causal mark because for the effort is like this. We put the I in integral form, which makes the other two like this. Same thing over here. The effort is going to be like this, and then we put the I in integral form like that and then these two are going to be like this. So this, I have my bond graph models and I would like to transform them into uh, um, block diagrams. So how are we going to do this? In this case, um, let me change the view so we have a full page view. It's a little nicer this way. Um, and here we have uh, this on the right hand on how do we uh, get started over here I suggest to do the following and I'm going to make it um, make some space here and, and draw the other one on this side so I'm just going to deal with the electrical first mm -hmm. what I would suggest that you do <coughs> is, is this that draw because each bond basically uh, represents two signals, right? For this one, I'm going to call it 1 and 2 and 3 and this and 4. Really doesn't matter, okay? So this one is number 1 uh, for the effort 1 and the flow 1 like this. And then I'm going to put 1 for the R element over here, like this, and that it will be E sub 2 and F sub 2. And for this, I am going to put, this would be E sub 3, and you see deliberately I did not go in, you know, I, any bond took any number, really. The numbers are just for references. And this one over here, is like this. 
this is e sub K four, and this would be f sub four. Yeah. So another one should be f sub three, right? Uh, which one? This this yeah. one, right? C. Thank you. So this is just the <coughs> you see the bonds in there. Now let's take the constitutive relationships of each one of these. What's happening here? This produces the F or out. So I am going to <coughs> draw it like this, see? The F or out like this, E1 is out. This F1 is in to the element. So it means that if you go in here and you integrate, and then you multiply this by 1 over C you have represented the constitutive relation of this one this other one, see the effort is out so this is got to be like this and this is in so what does it mean? you, you go here, you multiply it by by R and then comes out like that, right? I think we could use the uh, simulink symbol if you like to put all this um, you know, all this uh, I think we were using the simulink symbol so let's just um, let's just use, use that one so in here this is going to be like this, right? there you go this is even more clear really nice um, <coughs> on this side of the effort in here I have just this source in here that it says SE1 in here this is a source of effort like this and then of course this one goes this way and then we have this inductor over here the inductor in this case produces the flow out so it's like that and this one is in so how does how does it work you you have this this one is going to produce a, well first of all you're going to integrate this And simulink is 1 over s, right? And then you're going to have this one right here that is 1 over i and out of that comes out this. Yeah? So, you see, all I did is I put the constitutive relationships of each one of these and then I am going to put I, um, I need to connect this. So how do we actually do that? This is going to be this one junction is going to tell us a lot. Because it says all the flows are the same. So what I would like to do is to, to put all the flows the same. So I go in here. I connect it to this one. And then I connect it to this. Yeah, and then now it says that the effort w you you are gonna have a sum of the efforts. So I'm going to put a is a summation symbol in here, just for that. See, so you see this, you have it like this in here, and then okay. All right, so you have the effort from here, from this, and from that. And then we have we have on this other side. I think I I forgot this one. Yeah, and then you have the effort on this one like this right now you have to pay attention as to what's going on here the way 
the efforts will add in this junction is controlled by the half arrows. The equation of this of this junction reads like this reads that you could say what comes in here e sub 3 is equal to e sub 2 plus e sub 1 plus e sub 4 but the way this is written in here the way this is drawn it is written in terms of e sub 4 you see in here so e sub 4 if we have from this equation if we wanted to write it in terms of e sub 4 this is going to be e sub 3 minus e sub 1 and minus e sub 2 and for that reason in here you will have e, e sub 1 is a minus sign then you will have e sub 2 also with a minus sign and you will have e sub 3 with a plus sign there you go and this is the complete bond graph model I mean the complete block diagram model of this bond graph model okay so uh, this thing we could do the same thing for this one um, it's not going to change much but maybe we could do it as a matter of exercise on this side and we, we could just do it here one and two and three and four like this so we they are laid out a little different but you know they mean the same thing but I think we we, we can we, we will do it we'll do this one here to be consistent and uh, let's just uh, do what I suggested first draw the structure here to do these things I have learned that if you draw the structure of the of the mm, <coughs> model by the doing the structure of the bonds the way they are they are laid out it gets much easier so in here I would do I mean we need the we need the elements don't we I think uh, to be consistent I think I changed colors here and in here I have the C over here so this is the C you can see that E1 is over here and that F1 is over here on this one here we have the 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 output of this is the flow in this case is f sub 2 and the input is e sub 2 how does this work you're going to have this one in integral dt and then you have it multiplied by 1 over i like this and then comes out like that so that's this one this other one this R element in here you can see that the output is E this is E sub 4 and this is F sub 4 so F sub 4 comes into the R element all you have to do for this is just multiply this input by R and out comes this E I'm done with that one now the C element you know that the output of this based on this is E sub 3 and this is F sub 3 so if you go F sub 3 in here and you integrate once integrate dt and then from here you multiply it by 1 over c like that out comes e sub 3 
Virginia. Um, perhaps I need to do a better job to have that a little more clear. So you you will have this uh, in here. We have um, we have this over here on this. Um, just do the um, connection because that's very important in here. So in this, we got the flows are the same. So uh, you know, I connect all the flows. This one here, and so is this one. Right there, they are all in the same. But the efforts will add. So in here, you know, all we gotta do is make sure that we have the signs correctly and then this one is like this see how is this written in here we know that the equation for this is that e sub 1 is equal to e sub 2 plus e sub 3 plus e sub 4 but you see in here the output of this the way the graph is done is E2. So if you do E2, it's going to be E sub 1 minus E sub 3 and minus E sub 4. And so therefore E1 is plus, E3 is minus here, and this one also this E sub 4 is minus. And that is the block diagram for this other system.